presentation chapter. What is asking? So there is a superposition of <coughs> the field. So we have first like a uniformly charged ball. Okay, first we'll calculate field due to this. At a certain point, this one. Okay, what is the radius of this? The radius of this, let it be R. Charge density is rho naught. That Q naught charge or the total charge of this Q naught has to be found, find out. So somewhere a point P lies outside. Then what I do is like, next again, I'll bring a, Uh, what about this charge? This charge will be spreaded. Okay, this should be the R capital R. Let this be smaller, where the density of this is this one. It's like a thick shell, no? Okay, now we'll calculate the field strength here. So first the field strength here at point P, the point P is here. Oh, if you are able to imagine like this, okay, good. Otherwise I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> What is telling the magnitude of electric field strength here must be constant. So for that, what should be the charge of this ball? Okay, the ball, I'll write it. This should be the ball. Okay, are you able to get this, this one? Because the charge, the charge density is outside and the surrounding space filled with a charge. So only from smaller, greater than capital R, the charge density will vary like this. Okay, the field strength at point P, so due to this. E1 here, E2. Uh, same, same vector diagram, same diagram should be there, no? I'll, I'll draw it properly. The point P, yeah. Okay, now look at the situation and try to write the equations. So the field strength here be E1 due to this be E2. Can you calculate E1? So where the point P lies for the ball, it will lie outside, no? It additions R. So what is the electric field strength? Q0 by 4 pi F0. Say R square, you write it. Uh, now, what about the charge? Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll take this is X. It'll be easy for us in calculation. How to calculate even? Even we know. What about T2? I think we should again take care of Gauss law. No? So we should calculate how much of charge present in this region. The old, if you draw a Gaussian surface, you have to draw a Gaussian surface of Sphere of radius till where this charge will be extended till infinity. Oh. And the surrounding space filled with a charge of volume density. In fact, I should draw this a very big. Not, not only this, even, even I can I can extend till where till infinity it is. Able to get this so till till infinity it is. The external boundary will be till infinity. Okay, but but what we needed, we needed a 
only the first set point p the first set point p will determine by again drawing gaussian surface so i'll draw a gaussian surface then how much of charge enclosed by the gaussian surface will determine the field center point p due to that variable density rho a would analyze this one okay first i think uh, we'll calculate e2 because that will be more difficult quantity to measure so charge enclosed dq should be equal to rho into 4 pi x square dx i i am asking you to imagine a tin shell of thickness dx radius 6 so this should be equal to rho equal to how much uh, alpha by x will substitute dq equal to 4 pi alpha x dx will come So, what is the charge enclosed? Charge enclosed should be equal to from capital R to X. So, this is <laughs> Q naught. Can we take the four pi alpha x square minus R square by two? Okay, this will become two pi alpha x square minus R square. Okay, the net field at point P, looking at here, 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 somewhere here. And what is the net field at point P? Should be equal to E one plus E two. Now, what should be E one? E one should be equal to Q naught by four pi x square plus. This should be equal to Q by four pi x square. A uh, four pi epsilon naught, no. Four pi epsilon naught x square. Okay, let's substitute all the values. So q naught four pi epsilon naught x square. And what is q value? So two pi alpha x square minus r square. Let me further simplify. Uh, Q naught minus two pi alpha r square when e will be constant. If bracket term is constant, if bracket term is equal to zero, then x square s square get cancels. Then field center E will be constant, no? So for E P to be constant, this to be constant, must be equal to zero. Okay, then only x square x square get cancels in the numerator denominator here. So therefore, what is the condition now? Q naught two pi alpha r square equals zero. So he's asking what should be the charge? Okay, if you, if your magnitude of charge is equal to this much, is the field strength out in that layer? <coughs> it will remain constant. The field here will be in fact uniform. Very important. It's then you know possibility of asking in final exams. Huh? That's why I just picked up. Very, very, very important. A student has to uh, like analyze through these diagrams. So th these are very important. <laughs> 